All right, welcome to NationalWeatherForce.com. Let's turn your attention to Southern California. Take a look at this spin. Upper level low pressure system moving through the Las Vegas area. It's going to bring another round of showers and isolated thunderstorms to the region again today. We had some lightning in Los Angeles down into Orange County and San Diego and into the Western Inland Empire as well. Today, probably in those areas, probably going to be mostly just showers, convective showers with thunderstorms in the high desert. Six inches of snow in the San Bernardino County Mountains. Some areas reporting more. And uh, winter w storm warning remains in effect for that area. So nice spin uh, across the Southern California area. Now we're going to be moving on to, uh, let's save the best for last. Let's go on to Anna. Tropical storm Anna is moving just to the north very slightly. It's just kind of just hanging out out there. Kind of like our, how I said it would do. We have the tropical storm watch still at nationalweatherforce.com for parts of the northern coast of South Carolina and up to the southern portions of North Carolina as the storm system kind of drifts slowly north and towards the coast over the next day or so. Save the best for last. We got these thunderstorms erupting across Texas right now. These thunderstorms are arcing uh, with the boundary going from the Texas Panhandle all the way through just to the south of Dallas. This boundary right in here is going to be what we're watching. And this is why I issued a tornado watch uh, for the area as these start to lift to the northeast. We'll get some shear in the area over the afternoon and evening hours uh, along the Wichita Falls area all the way uh, to Dallas even. So we're looking at a good chance of stronger tornadoes uh, within northern Texas along the Red River Valley. For this and more, stay tuned to NashWeatherForce.com.